Filipino Lenel Yu and Malaysian Tan Eng Wat are two Asian pencilers making waves in the comic book industry. Lenel is currently working on Superior, written by Mark Millar, the writer who brought us Wanted and Kick Ass. It's about a boy suffering from multiple sclerosis who awakens one day with Superman-type powers. Only problem is he looks exactly like his favorite superhero. Coming up from like Superman Birthright and you went to Marvel and stuff like that and now you're back with Mark Miller and you're doing a Superior. Uh, did it help in any way doing a Superman comic book and then now working a Superior? Um, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I should ask you, uh, are you slighted or like, like as a Superman fan you're going to say, yeah, this, that's a Superman, you know, you're, they're ripping Superman off. So I, I can't really tell. I think it's cool because you, you, you wanted to see stories handled in that way where, where they can't actually do it in like uh, uh, the continuity of like a DC comic book, right? And uh, um, Irredeemable by Mark Wade also is, is almost, uh, almost like the same where they took like a, a Superman sort of character and made him like sort of lose his mind. So I think Superior is just another take on it. Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, working with Mark Miller who's in, who was uh, the brains behind Wanted and like Kick Ass and stuff like that. Uh, uh, of course, yeah, he did Red Sun, right? Um, so do you think Superior will have like a, a film potential? Oh, absolutely! Um, I think Mark is talking to a few people right now, and uh, it's uh, he's friends with, with uh, a lot of Hollywood folks. So it's it's uh, it's definitely you know being being talked about, and uh, it's uh, hopefully it's uh, we're going to be signing some contracts real soon. So <laughs> are you going to get a cut of that uh, piece of pie? Oh, absolutely! And yeah, Mark Mark is a fair guy to work with. He's like he's an excellent you know he's very fair to to all the artists he's worked with. Not to be outdone, Engwat is working on Thor First Thunder, which may very well prepare new fans for the upcoming film adaptation. Okay, let's talk about your, your experience doing a Thor First Thunder. Um, what, what, how do you feel when you, when you first got a project? Because the Thor film is just coming out, right? And First Thunder is sort of like uh, his origin stories. So you're introducing a whole new uh, world to, to Thor, right? Um, so uh, how do you feel about that? Are you excited about it? Uh, the first time the editor told me, uh, "Would you what? Would you interested in doing tours?" I was uh, very thrilled. <laughs> I I got very shaken because I don't want to spoil the the the, the original because the story are based on the original of tour. So it, I got very very nervous and a lot of pressure because I don't want to mess things up. So I I uh, take take very caution on on everything uh, from from. From that project. So, uh, any uh, opinions or impressions uh, from watching the Thor uh, trailer? What do you think about the, the film? I haven't watched the full. Uh, not much of the thing come out from 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 the web yet. Uh, trailer and uh, I liked him very much. I, I think he he's he's not ex exactly the the way the uh, comic reader like it. Maybe. Uh, he changed a, a bit of like costume or something, but he bring out the new. Uh, he bring new life in, into the story, the character. I think between the both of them, they've worked on everything from Superman and the Justice League to Wolverine and the New Avengers. And the artists share with you how they got started and reveal ways Singaporeans can get the chance to draw with the big boys. How did you get started out uh, in the industry? Um, it was 13 years ago. Will Spartacio, he was a film, film American artist. Uh, he did uh, X Men on Wetworks. He uh, set up a studio in the Philippines. He, he took some guys in under his wing and uh, he showed our work around. And Marvel was the first uh, company to, to, to actually uh, get, give us a shot. And uh, they gave us a Wolverine. It was a, it was a number four book at the time. So it was like from an unknown, you know, get, getting into this, you know, huge title. So. That actually made my career, so I, I, I still owe everything to, to you know, um, Wolverine and Marvel. Okay, so maybe you can tell us, like, how you got into the industry, how you got, got into the comic book industry? Well, it's been a while. I, I gone joined this uh, Western comic since uh, since year 2000. Yeah. Uh, I went to a, a comic a comic um, a summit in, in Hong Kong that I, where I met an editor from DC. And he saw my work, and he went back and gave uh, gave me sample to test it. After that, uh, everything just start from there. So Any advice to like a uh, Singaporean trying to get their work out? You know? Oh yeah, it's 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 getting e it's getting easier and easier with the internet and stuff. And CB Sobolski from Marvel is here doing talent search. I mean, how how cool is that? It's it's if you're good enough, you're gonna get a job. It's it's that simple. And. Uh, just work on it. Just keep on practicing. It's very easy to show your work around these days, and, and uh, with with uh, with with internet and with uh, you know the conventions like like uh, SG uh, SCGCC and uh, 
That's yeah. It's just keep keep working on it and uh, make sure if they give you a chance, they give you a, a break. Make sure that you meet the deadlines and be reliable. So that's more one of the most important advice I could, I could give. Okay, so the the secret to for for like writers and, and pencilers who want to get into the industry is to attend the conventions and, and just uh, get your work out to all the professionals, right? Not not actually, because right now there's a lot of uh, uh, channel you can you can use. You can mostly people use web and uh, Facebook, uh, for example. It's not it's not that hard to find uh, editor and uh, any person in, in the world you, you want to find. The the, the main uh, important thing is. Uh, your work, you have to present your work in a in a correct co- correct way that uh, which they uh, they prefer. Coming up, we speak to David Lloyd, the artist that brought us V for Vendetta. <laughs>